Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my April plan with me as well as going through March. Um, so this is my March kind of front page with the calendar and stuff. My gratitude log which I kind of have turned into like a gratitude slash memory log so that's what I'm going to be doing for April is more of like memories and things that made me happy and I skipped a few days but you know there's that um, so that was cool and then I jumped right into dailies which this has been good for me um, and I'm going to continue it I was trying out different ways of doing it and this is basically what I settled on just doing a simple color across and then putting the date and um, I saw Captain Marvel this month which was awesome so yeah, I had a lot of fun with this, using the washi tape, and I had some special stickers for St. Patrick's Day and stuff like that. And then this is where I'm at now. Um, I am gonna fill in this last page because all I have is Sunday and I have like two things to do, so yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started with April here. I penciled some things out because I definitely have some ideas for what I wanna do this time around. And, um, yeah, so the things I'm gonna be using other than my regular old pencil, just to kind of throw that out there, I will probably be using the Crayola, what do they call these? Crayola dual tips or something, I don't know. They're Crayola and they've got like a brush tip on the one side and like a bullet nib on the other. So I pulled those out to use because I don't have any green in my uh, Tombow Twin Tones. Which is interesting. I the only well, that's not totally true. I have a lime green, but I was looking for like a darker green. Green, and then I have Crayola Super Tips, and my Faber Castell Pit Artist Pens. I've got some. This is the smallest size, but I do have the, some thicker ones that I'm going to use to make the calendar. And that's one thing I'm going to do this month. I'm going back to kind of a traditional calendar, um, but I want to keep it simple. I'm not going to be using any washi tape this month. It's just gonna be kind of like pen. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do and um, I'm gonna jump right in. And here we go. <laughs> so I'm starting off back, like I said, I'm going old school kind of full on calendar. And I did, um, all these boxes are six by six. Um, I was going to, just um, make a full calendar with lines all the way across with the ruler. But whenever I pencil it out, I always do these little, like just the little plus and minus looking things, whatever. And I like the way that looks. I've seen, I've done it in other months and I've seen other people do that as like an aesthetic. So I wanted to do that this time. And then April, I know it's this saying is April showers bring May flowers, but Maybe it's just where I live in Northeast Ohio, but I kind of think of flowers in April and May is more getting into summer and sunshine and stuff. I don't know. So I wanted to do flowers and I recently took this embroidery class where we made some flowers um, kind of coming off these little vines that kind of look like this. So I just kind of like extended the look and um, that's basically what I'm recreating with the little loops and then I just kind of do like spirally squigglies <laughs> to make like rose type flower looking things and I like that it's got it's like minimal it's easy it's not too intricate because whenever I used to doodle and it would be too intricate it would make me stressed out I wouldn't like it and it just I don't want to go back to that <laughs> so doing this is just fun and I really thoroughly enjoy it. So um, yeah, if you wanna do something like this, just make little vine looking things and at the end put little squigglies just like you just saw, that's, that's, all, <laughs> that's all it takes. Um, and, and, and then it just, just little loopy things for the other flower. Um, have any of you guys ever done embroidery? That was actually so much fun. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, Magpie Melon, same as my YouTube name and Twitter name, I have pictures of it. It's, like I said, I'm from Ohio, so the embroidery was like an outline of the state of Ohio, and then flowers, they had wildflowers, 
And so that's absolutely where the inspiration came for this month's um, kind of theme, so to speak. And, uh, and yeah, also, sorry if you can hear cars going by. It's pretty warm today, and so I have my door open to the outside, my sliding door. So sorry about that, but, you know, I got to take care of myself, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to keep the door open. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I really just love the way this calendar looks. I am so happy with it. I keep going back and looking at it. Uh, I haven't filled it out yet at the time I'm recording this, but I will. I just, I really like it. And, um, and yeah, again, I wanted to go super simple with just these two little spreads. Um, and my silly cursive handwriting, I, it's not bad, but I really would like to do more practice with lettering uh, in the future. And I follow like um, uh, Boho Berry and um, Cindy Gunterbaldo. They do some lettering, even like Amanda Rachel Lee and stuff. They have some really cool lettering that I try and kind of emulate as much as I can. <laughs> also, I didn't realize how like wonky the vine part here looks like just without adding anything to it. It looks so silly and kind of dumb, <laughs> but that's okay. There isn't art like that. It just kind of looks crazy until it looks good <laughs> whenever you get what you want it to be. Um, I love that. I've been very like creative lately with artsy and craftsy stuff. I did embroidery. You guys know I knit and crochet. I've been doing painting, like uh, pour painting and abstract painting stuff. Well, barely, but <laughs> I, um, mostly acrylic pour painting, but it's like fun to be creative and do fun things like that. Um, what do you guys like to do? That's kind of fun and creative. Bullet journaling is a creative outlet too, you know? And I think that's super, super fun. And, uh, I love seeing what other people do and I love sharing what I'm doing too. It's just, I don't know. It's a lot of fun, but I think think uh yeah I think this is wrapping up here pretty soon I just finished up with the flowers and stuff and yeah so back to my outro okie dokie well I have damaged my pages trying to erase the pencil marks because I don't know how to be patient <laughs> but here we go I am very very pleased with this I really wanted to go back to something a little more simple minimal-esque so just having it be just kind of pen and paper I don't know I really like it I'm gonna fill in all of my events and stuff later I goofed on this s but that's okay you know what it's fine I um was trying to kind of do lettering um from Cindy Gutterbaldo on her llama letters Instagram she had a little kind of tutorial quick video on how to do this bubble lettering and then this whatever you call it so I wanted to kind of practice that a little bit and then these are just my regular cursive, which sorry I about forgetting that. <laughs> the crossing the T, I noticed that when I was erasing. And I noticed too, this almost kind of looks like Christmas lights, the flowers around and the vines. Um, but I kind of like it and that's all that matters. So this is gonna be memories slash gratitude kind of all mixed in one because that's kind of, I've kind of combined the two anyway. What I'm grateful for are usually uh, at least in March, have been things that I have done and things that have made me happy. So that's what that's for. And then favorites, this is gonna be, um, this is gonna be fun to kind of document everything that I am enjoying because I am forgetful, <laughs> which is funny because you'd think if it's something you enjoy, you wouldn't forget it, but you'd be surprised. And then I'm just gonna start my weeks right here, just doing what I've been doing with um, just a simple colorful line and continuing on and I think my colors for this month are gonna be like purples pinks and reds um, I was reaching for a blue but you know what no <laughs> so I'm gonna probably pull out like purple and uh, pink and probably these these kind of colors will be my colors for the month oh yeah these look so cute together okay these are my colors for the month <laughs> all right guys well thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time for another video. Bye!